All right, welcome to module three. In this module, our expert will show you how to build your first workflow from scratch. So get ready to take some notes and let's jump right in. All right, so here we are on our blank canvas. We're gonna take everything that we've learned so far about automation workflows and we're gonna create our very own right here from scratch. Now what we're gonna create is basically a welcome sequence where we deliver a lead magnet that somebody just opted in for and we're going to try and upsell them to a higher priced offer and we're going to do a couple other uh, sort of uh, uh, peripheral things uh, at the same time okay so the first thing here is going to be form submitted we're going to click and drag that over here and when somebody submits the form on our opt-in page then the action that we triggered, because that one was a, a trigger here, the action is going to be that we're going to add them to a list, a corresponding list. You would click here and you would choose the list in question. And the next step is going to be to send an email after they've been added to that list. So we'll send them an email, and that email will be the welcome and delivery email. Now, just so you know, in a sign of autopilot, all you would basically do in here is literally either take an existing uh, newsletter or email that you've created, or you would create a new one and a pop-up would show up and you would basically create your email right here inside of the workflow uh, creation uh, page, which is very handy. But before we go down that email route, we want to do those other two peripheral things that I mentioned. So when somebody uh, submits the form, we're also at the same time as all this other stuff is happening, we're also going to add them to a custom Facebook audience. And we're going to uh, send them an SMS message. Okay, we're going to pretend that we had a, a phone number field on that contact form. Okay, so we'll add them to an SMS list and to send them an SMS message. Uh, thanking them for their order and telling them to check their email inbox for this email right here and this email right here. Let's go ahead and take advantage of the annotation tools here just so that we and our team understand and remember what we're seeing. Welcome and delivery, let's call it. We'll just drag that right here so whenever somebody is looking at this workflow, they understand what this email is. And let's see, let's add a 24 hour delay. Let's go ahead and grab this, stick it here. On send. So after this email is sent, that'll trigger a 24 hour delay. Delay of one day, good. And then after that delay, we're going to set a condition. Okay, we're going to see if they have, in fact, clicked on a link in this welcome email that was sending them to the upsell. Okay, so let's go ahead and look for our conditions here, which are at the bottom. And we're going to put has visited page. And we're going to grab this and bring it down here. And then from this point forward, where they go in this journey is going to depend on whether or not it was yes, has not, or excuse me, no, has not visited, or yes, has visited, okay? So this is sort of a fork in the road. So let's say that they did not visit, oops, click and drag. We're gonna put a check email status trigger here. So not visited, we're gonna check email status. And if uh, they did not even open that first email here, so let's go ahead and Actually, just select this one. That's just a placeholder there. Go ahead and publish an exit. Okay, so if they did not open email one, which is over here, the welcome and delivery email. If they did not, then we're gonna wanna resend that email, okay? Because that happens. Sometimes people don't uh, check the welcome email or the delivery email that they just got right after they opted in for something. So you send it a little bit later. So in this case, if they have not opened, not opened, 
we send them that email and let's go ahead and annotate that so that we understand so our team understands what this email is but uh, resend welcome go ahead and put that here and then what if they did open that email we'll send them a further upsell email if they did open and so we'll continue the campaign we're trying to upsell them right let's go ahead and annotate that as well upsell just so we know what that email is for now let's say that they did in fact click the link in this initial email and buy the upsell that we were offering them well that brings us to this question what is this page here okay where did we put the pixel and we're going to say that this page here is the successful checkout page okay so the the order confirmation page after they've checked out after purchasing the upsell okay so if uh, they have not visited that page that means they still have not purchased that's why we're continuing the email experience here right which is ultimately designed to get them to buy but what if they did end up on that page well if they ended up on that page that's the indicator to us that they purchased the product in question and so let's go ahead and do three other things if they did in fact end up on that page and they purchased we want to number one we're gonna go with has visited number one add them to a new list and that would be a customer list right for people who bought the upsell and then number two we want to remove them from this list okay they're no longer just prospects because they've purchased the offer and then finally you'll recall this from module uh, two we saw it in a couple of examples we'll do it here as well if they visited we will eject them from this journey remember the logic there if they ended up on this page an order confirmation page so if they purchased then they don't need to continue getting these emails you know bothering them about purchasing the thing that they've already purchased right so as soon as they've landed on this page immediately they would be ejected from this so that they don't get any further emails okay and that's it that's our that's our little email automation uh, experiment here okay so let's just recap what we did form was submitted somebody opted in for a lead magnet for a free gift of some sort we added them to a list at the same moment we also added them to a Facebook audience so that in the background behind the scenes here we could also have been retargeting them with that upsell offer via a Facebook ad uh, SMS message reminding them to check their inbox to actually download the free gift and we also want them to check because there's links in there offering them the upsell right one day delay after one day if they visited that page which means if they ended up on the order confirmation so they purchased the upsell if they did we remove them from this list we add them to a new list which you know acknowledges that they are a customer so that's a buyer list there and then we eject them from this journey and that's it okay nothing happens after that point they are basically cut off right here right but if they did not visit that page after that one day delay then we go and we check first did they even open this initial email if not we resend that welcome email if they did we proceed to a marketing email where we focus on uh, selling them on the upsell right and then presumably you could just continue down this path with more email marketing uh, you know to the right here and so on and so forth but that's that's the the, the basics of setting up an email uh, automation a marketing automation workflow and again it's not just email as you can see it's Facebook uh, audiences it's SMS marketing uh, a whole lot of other things that we could have done here we could we could go in here and uh, integrate with that postcard uh, shipping service and have postcards sent to these people depending on what information they submitted in the form uh, I mean, you, you can you can do pretty much anything with uh, marketing automation and hopefully this has sort of uh, helped you get comfortable with the idea of uh, marketing automation because it sounds like a very complex 
and intimidating topic, as you can see here, thanks to the tools that we have today, such as Autopilot. It's drag and drop simple. And uh, frankly, if you're not using it in your business, you are leaving a whole lot of potential uh, money, potential sales on the table. As you can see, it's easy to do. There's no excuse for not doing it anymore. Uh, take what you've learned in these lessons here. Go and apply them with your tool, with your software of choice. Start leveraging uh, marketing automation in your business today. Hi, Abram Kutsier here and a warm welcome to my channel. I value your precious time and my wish for you is that you have found something of real value in this video that will help you to close more leads and to scale your business beyond your dreams. If you have found value in this video, make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notification. We will upload one module every week. I quickly want to introduce you to a brand new way to hack your social media profiles to generate unlimited free traffic for your business. It doesn't require any special skills and it doesn't involve running complicated ads. In fact, what I'm about to show you is probably the easiest, fastest and most beginner friendly way to grow your business with social media today. And I'm willing to bet you didn't even know it existed. The hidden traffic on Facebook. Have you ever been scrolling around on Facebook when a post like or comment catches your eye? And then for whatever reason, you decide to click to view that person's profile page. If you've done that before, you're not alone. I do this all the time. I'll see a post or comment or like that catches my eye. And I can't help but click to their profile page to see who that person is and what they're about. Let's be honest. We all know you on social media. Have you ever wondered how often this is happening to you? How many people are clicking to view your profile daily? Let's do an experiment where we treat your Facebook profile like a landing page. We'll add buttons, links and call to actions to your products and services in all the right places and watch the magic happen. It will shock you how quickly you get results. You'll immediately tap into a consistent stream of free leads for your business just by making a few simple tweaks to your Facebook profile. And if your profile isn't set up and optimized to capture those potential customers, you're missing out big time. In this blueprint, I'm going to show you how to completely transform your Facebook profile into a lead machine that brings you new customers 24 seven. The link will be in the description below this video. I hope I will see you on the other side. Take care, take action, goodbye.